Um, Shane, both uh, Fianna Fáil and Fine Gael were on 23% nationally in the local election polls. Um, are you concerned Fianna Fáil is going to lose its place as the biggest party in local government? No, I'm, I'm confident we're going to have a strong weekend on the local elections. I mean, the exit poll had us wrong by nearly 4% five years ago. Um, from the words I'm getting around the country at the moment, we're going to have a strong showing. I, our strategic aim was to hold the gains that we made in 2014. I'm confident that we're going to do that and hopefully eke out a couple of victories in, in strategic areas around the country as well. Should the main party of opposition not be doing a bit better, uh, given that uh, the government has been in power for so long and it's a mid-term election? Well, I mean, it's still only lunchtime on, on Saturday. There's a lot of counts, a lot of votes to be counted. And I mean, uh, Irish politics obviously has become very fragmented, but our main aim was to actually consolidate what we gained in 2014. I think we're going to do that and possibly put a few gains on top of it as well. And in the European elections, uh, Fianna Fáil isn't having an, an easy time in, in any of the constituencies, really. What's, what's your uh, prediction in terms of uh, seats for your party? Well, I think, you know, our starting position was we effectively had zero going into this election. And I mean, look, at uh, Ireland South has been a very, very credible showing. And uh, hopefully Billy will get elected and Malcolm Byrne is performing extremely strongly. Uh, Barry's had a good performance uh, in Dublin as well. And, and that seat is in contention as well. Midlands Northwest hasn't gone like we would expect it or hope for. Uh, but overall, I think you have to look at it in the round and we're, we're still fighting strong in, in, in definitely two of the constituencies. Is there questions to be asked about the strategy of Midlands Northwest, given that uh, it's the same one as the last time around when uh, you also didn't win seats there? Again, but then you look to Ireland South where we have run two candidates and that's going actually particularly well. So, I mean, we'll reflect on this when this weekend is over, but we can say that the two candidate strategy is wrong in one and right for the other. Uh, and I think we'll reflect it on the weekend and, and please God, we have a good day in Ireland South. And finally, uh, what's, what way does this, uh, see, what do you see the general election shaping up on the back of, of uh, this showing this weekend? Well, I mean, again, you know, it's, it, I know there's been polling uh, data done in terms of first preferences for general election as well, but it's, it's, it's way too early. I think people are going to spend some time to digest and we've still got a lot of votes to be counted this weekend.